So I'm 5'4", and, and this thing is like, you know, right at my mouth level. <laughs> I don't know exactly why uh, the guy uh, the guy before me must have been super tall or something, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, what I did was, and, and I'm not saying this is the way to do it. I'm saying this is how I'm doing it. Hopefully, you know, if I'm doing it wrong, somebody points it out. Because uh, I still really don't know a whole lot about the... Uh, where to zero and all that kind of stuff. There's three different zeros. There's a, a program uh, zero, there's a part zero, and there's a uh, machine zero. Uh, and I, I haven't figured all that stuff out anyway. So anyway, I used the jog and I came over and I touched off the front here and zeroed the Z. And then I came out here and touched off here and zeroed it. And I just that just dawned on me that uh, what I need to do there actually um, So the bolt is not quite concentric, so I'm, there we go, I got a little scratch there, okay, so I'm going to back out at least one. Now that tells me that uh, I'm 23 thousandths uh, further out than I was when I zeroed it. Anyway, so if I zero that, um, let me grab the calipers. Okay, and I have this machine set up for uh, diameter mode, not radius. Okay, so this bolt is three was about three eighty five. Okay, so it's a hair. It's a might be a metric bolt, uh, but anyway, three eighty five. So, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's uh, punch in point three eight five here. Let's hit enter so it takes it. Okay. So then uh, I'm going to back off a little bit. I'm going to come back over to the the right there. And then just to kind of double check it, let's run it in. Pretty darn close to zero. Let's uh, take a peek there. And, and yeah, that looks like it's pretty darn close to the center there. So let's call that good. So now I'm going to back it off to a safe not necessarily a safe distance, just back it off to a distance uh, since the machine should know exactly where that zero is right there. So uh, now I don't uh, I don't have any g-code written or anything like that so let's go up to the wizards here. Let's pick the lathe turning wizard. And this is an older version of uh, Mach 3 so I have another computer. Uh, I have better monitors. I have <laughs> I can so one of these days I'll I'll get it all set up. I just wanted to get it working like this before I added a bunch of other stuff into the mix and uh, messed it up. So now that I've got it working this way, then I can change the computer and and go from there and stuff. So uh, anyway, that was the wizard for um, an OD turn. Okay, so you can read all the stuff here where the end is, how far you want it to go in, where it's going to start. So where it's going to start is uh, my X start is going to be, uh, let's say, 0 0.390. 0 0.3, yeah, 0 0.3, instead of 850, 0 0.390. So it's going to start, make sure you hit enter or it won't take. Uh, end, let's take it down to uh, 0 0.35. This, this is just playing. This isn't anything critical, so... Uh, I am trying to uh, kind of sort of get this. This could be a push rod. It's it's a I ordered the threads wrong on the bolt, but it's the same style and shape and hardness of a bolt I want to turn into a brake master cylinder push rod, so I can get an idea how well it cuts and speeds and feeds and stuff like that on this uh, these harder harder bolts. I've, the bolts I've just cut the heads off basically. So uh, the end has already been faced, so I'm not going to bother with a facing operation. Uh, but I am going to cut the diameter down to 350 and then put a ball end on it and see how that goes. So now Z, so I want it to run an inch from the end there. Okay, so Z start, which is out on the end here, that's going to be 0 0.050. That means, so I'm basically telling it to start 50 thousandths before uh, the edge of the metal there. And then end, negative one inch, because from zero to the left is negative. Uh, clearance. 100 thou, I believe that's how far it pulls back when it 
moves. I don't care about chamfer. Roughing feed rate. Uh, I think, yeah, well, 10 inches. Um, let's let's slow that down. Let's. Uh, I can I can run it extra slow. It's not like it's an interrupted cut or anything. So let's do three on that. Let's do a finish feed rate of one. Um, the the reason I had them cranked up there so high is because I was uh, uh, running it through on a test and and uh, cutting air basically. So roughing depth of cut twenty thousandths, finish path ten thousandths. I'm going to save the settings. Uh, because then that way if I do another bolt I can come back in pull up this it'll already be set um, so post code let's see what it says rough cut is too big rough cut is too big so ten thousands does that work yes well then let's make the finish path cut finish pass uh, 0 0.05. So that's going to be five thousandths instead of ten thousandths. Uh, and it's mainly just so we can see a, a change there. And since I didn't hit return, that didn't change to one. Okay, so do, 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 do. let's save these settings. Post the code. It posted the code. And it doesn't show, looks like it only shows a couple of cuts there. Um, so I might have some. Oh, because I'm starting at, starting at 390. End at 350. Seems to me it should be more than two passes. But it's not much of a cut, so let's uh, let's go back and see what it does. Back to main screen. Oh, exit. So what it does is it, it should show this right here in the... Uh, it says it's, I'm in diameter mode. Nice. So that's what I want. Okay. I should cut air first, but uh, I'm going to live on the wild side here. So don't follow my example. Uh, I do need to turn the uh, spindle on, though, don't I? It's got a, a treadmill motor in there, so it takes a while to ramp up and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm running it real high, but I think I've got the feed rates and the cuts down low enough that uh, it should be okay. And there's no way I can change it other than running that resistor back and forth. Uh, so, so when I hit cycle start, then I'm going to put the mouse over the stop. And so if I see anything wrong, I'm going to, you know, hit that real quick. There's a problem with the pulley and the uh, bushings and stuff like that. One of them's dead, so I have the belt set up. It should go a lot faster than this, uh, but it's in a step-down thing, so that's as fast as I can get it to go until I get the bushing and the idler pulley and stuff finished, fixed. So then here's the finish pass. Show me I'm feeding it one inch per minute there. Nice. Gives me an elapsed time up here, too.
and you can hear the change in the cut there too because as the overhang decreases the part gets stiffer and uh, all the resonance and the vibration and everything changes for what it's going to be this is perfectly adequate still kind of interesting how uh, that's the last pass I don't have any more passes to make um, so then it comes back out to my hundred uh, that I told it for clearance and the 50 where I told it to start so let's uh, let's turn the spindle off there for a minute so we don't have to listen to that and we're gonna I and I found this OD fillet is was a whole lot easier to do than the OD arc I, I don't know why so um, filler radius, I got point, uh, three, five diameter, so this is going to be point, uh, one, seven, eight, five. Uh, start at, uh, point three fifty. Not sure to let me do that. Let's see here. Z end, I want that to be at least my, uh, radius. So, point one, seven, five. Uh, 20 thousandths clearance, feed rate 3, 10, 5, let's see what it says. Z start equals Z, oh, man, I keep doing that. Negative, 0.175. Okay, now what's it say? Fillet radius is too big for X. So, I can make the radius a little bit smaller, or I can make, uh, X a little bit bigger, so let's try 0.36. There we go. Posted the code. Doesn't show me it. Oh well. Okay. Click on the reset. Ready to do a cycle start. Let's turn it up. The spindle back up. So, give you an idea what it's doing here. So the flat end there is because I just didn't, I didn't set it up right or something, but uh, you know it's pretty close, at least it's turning. You can see the uh, fillet radius there at the end of the uh, turn. So, all right, here's the two I was playing with. And these are, uh, let's see, I've got one here with a grade on it. This is a uh, this is a 10.9, so that's the equivalent, uh, that's a metric equivalent of uh, grade 8 bolt, so gives you an idea of the hardness. Uh, you know, and the surface finish isn't perfect, it's, it's pretty nice, it's actually uh, certainly adequate for uh, what I'm doing, or what I need them for. Uh, you can see the smaller radius there, provided the uh, camera's actually uh, focusing on that. So the, the ends came out pretty nice too. So considering the frustration I've had, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, for the last bit here trying to get it working, I'm tickled pink with uh, with that. So now I've got uh, other projects to get back to, and uh, you know, as I get time, I'll keep uh, playing around with this. Oh, it's pretty dirty monitor. <laughs> 